I think that uh, the main differences between inbound and outbound marketing is really the, the basis of the channel. Outbound marketing often is proactive, where you're going out to proactively reach out to your customer. That's going to include things like email, um, phone calls or teleprospecting, um, face to face meetings. Uh, direct mail. So these are channels that you're directly reaching out to your customer. Inbound marketing is, and, and I've uh, heard people heard it described as where you're fishing with a net. You're looking to capture interest. And so inbound marketing is where um, often is called content marketing because it's really the content that is attracting people. That's going to be your website. That'll be landing pages. It'll be uh, webinars where you're uh, inviting people to register. Uh, it'll be events where you're you're inviting people to come to an event. So those are the, those are the differences, is that um, outbound, you're proactively reaching out to people, and inbound, what you're doing is you're capturing people's interest as they're searching and finding your content. So pay-per-click, search engine optimization are also examples of inbound marketing. What I would say in terms of balancing the mix, I find that a lot of companies um, either have overcorrected in one and not enough in the other, is um, thinking of a conversation, we need to both talk, but we also need to listen. And so what I would say is, is that for most companies, um, if you're doing a lot of outbound marketing, what I would encourage you to do is investigate inbound marketing because there are some real benefits to that. Often the, the cost to capture someone's interest is less when, when they're finding you versus you're finding them and you're reaching out to them. But the, the thing is, is that to advance and further that conversation, you need to actually uh, ask questions, you need to engage, and this is where you need to add outbound marketing. There's a lot to get, getting this right, but I would say that in striking that balance, it really just begins with all marketing is really geared to helping your customer make a decision. And what you need to do is just think about optimizing our process. Where are we getting stuck? And what are some things that we can do to help move our customers and help them go through that process of understanding in their own journey um, what are the things that they need to do um, in order to buy from us. Our goal isn't to optimize marketing, it's not to optimize landing pages, it's not to optimize emails or call guides, it's really to help optimize our customer's experience and, and help them buy. And when we think like our customer, we can begin thinking more in terms of what areas in our mix should we be adding between outbound or content marketing, also known as inbound marketing.